Karibu Mohiri. Welcome to preaching. Baba katika jina la Yesu tunakushukuru kwa wakati mzuri unatupatia mara tena katika asubuhi ya leo. Asante kwa sababu ni kwa neema kubwa sote kufika mbele zako katika asubuhi ya leo. Na asante kwa kutuangusha na kutupa nguvu mara tena ya kuja kusikiliza neno lako. Wengi wetu wameamuka lakini wakupata kibali cha kuja kusikia neno lako. Tunakushukuru kwa neema hiyo. Pariki kila mmoja wetu wote ambaye uko hapa. Mfungue masikio ya roho na ya mwili hapa tukulipokea neno lako kama vile upendavyo. Vile vile peke yako babu hapa tukulitoa neno lako maana mimi mwenyewe siwezi. Lakini msaada ni wewe Yesu. Na mimi ni speaker. Baba mwenyewe toa neno lako. Nipate kutubariki sote. Tunakwenda kinyume na mapenzi ya ibilisi katika jina la Yesu mapepo ya minongono mapepo ya mambo mengine mabaya katika jina la Yesu tuliyakemea na kuyafunga na tukiomba uweza wako utawale katika kila mmoja wetu katika jina la Yesu na Kristo nao amen Bwana Yesu asifiwe praise the lord Asante tunamshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu mara tena kutupa muda mzuri wa kufika mbele zake. Ni neema kubwa. Na zani kabla tujaendelea juma iliyopita kuna mtumishi wa Mungu hapa alisema ya kwamba sio vizuri Mkristo kukaa nyuma. So it's not good our, for our servants of God to stay behind. Na zana litulazimisha kabisa sote kuja mbele. Now you first has to come in front. Na niliona sio yeye. So I saw it wasn't him. Yule alikuwa Roho Mtakatifu. That's Holy Spirit. Mtu wa Mungu ana kiu ya kukaribia karibu na Mungu. The servant of God has the thirsty to come in front of God. Na sio vizuri Kristo kukaa nyuma sana. It's not good for a Christian to stay way back. Even though our house has some conditions, we cannot stay there. But it's better for you to be close to this, to us. Moto, you are close to us. Because we 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 are close to us. Matayo sura yake ya 11 Matthew chapter 11 Na msari wake wa 28 verse 28 hadi 29 to verse 29 Matayo 11 Matthew chapter 11 Mstari wake wa 28 verse 28 hadi 29 to verse 29 Let the word in Jesus name Njoni kwangu nini nyote msumbukao na wenye kulemewa na miziko nami nitawapumzishi Jitieni mira yangu njifunze kwangu kwa kuwa mimi ni mpole na mnyenyekevu wa moyo nanyi mtapata raha na sisi mwenu kwa maana mira yangu ni laini na mzigo wangu ni mwepesi Let the word in Jesus name Come to me, all you are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find you will find rest for your soul. Amen. Eh, katika neno hili ndio tutakwenda kuzungumza karibuni maneno yetu leo. We are going to talk based on this verse. Shabaya yetu ya leo. Our purpose of today. Tutazungumza hatua tano za kuponya nafsi. We are going to talk based on five points to save our soul. Hatua tano za kuponya nafsi. Five actions to save the soul. Labda unaweza kujiuliza nafsi ni nini? You can ask yourself what is soul. Tunasikia ombeni Bwana Mungu wako. We hear love your God kwa mwili wako wote lakini zako your all manliness and your heart ama nafsi yako 
all your soul with spirit. So if you're talking about soul, so we're going to give you some details what that's supposed to mean. So if there are five actions that can make you soul. So if we try to translate uh, the word soul, we have uh, four inter- uh, translations. So soul has four defines. Maybe we won't touch all those four. We we'll only talk where is really on us. So they say soul is yourself. Myself. Yourself. Himself or herself. That's all. Praise the Lord. That's why Ezekiel 18 said what? Maybe check verse 4 or 3. So it said the spirit of God or Father or the soul of Father is my faith. So spiritual of son is my faith. So the soul that did sin is going to die. If God said a sinful soul is going to die, so it has some meaning. What does first to mean? Souls is me. Here. If I'm doing wrong, I'll die. If you sin, also you'll die. That is your soul. Soul has unit. I. You and all together, all of us, and him or her. So, her, I hear, all of us, we all saw, and is the soul of God. And that's what it in the book of Ezekiel. The whole soul and my richness. So, he's putting all together. So we're going to talk based on what is going to save our soul. So together when the soul is, is hard to rise. So you know the soul gets very hard. So you can feel someone has sorrow and no, no happy. They also feel like I, I wish I could die. And other also they can take poison because they want to die. So the 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 soul has sorrow and no uh, no able to control themselves. No med- medication. That's why they shall go and kill themselves. And that's why they take wrong the shields the Because soul was has sorrow. Praise the Lord. And those are five points we're going to talk, even though we want to talk about them. Here we will write that three. And those three will stop from those three. Those two remaining will talk later. Let's go on the first. So we have to read first. So those three points there are in chapter 11 where we read. It says, come, come to me all you are worried. Listen these words here. Come to me all you who are worried. And those who burdened. And I will give you rest. Who take up the mayor. Learn from me. Because I'm gentle. And humbleness in heart. And you will find rest for your soul. Praise Lord. Because my yoke is is humble, humble and my my my, my duty is gentle. 
Neno la kwanza. The first word ambayo linasaidia nafsi. That is helping your soul. Ni kujoni wangu. Is coming to me. Ndiko Yesu amesema. That's what Jesus said. Anasema kujoni wangu. Come to me. Hiyo ni mwaliko mkuu ambao Yesu alikwenda kusema. That is a big appreciation that Jesus said. Jesus no our hearts to have the glory. Sorrows. Lakini akaona ya kwamba hizi nafsi kumpata amani hapa. But you know if this want to get happiness or peace. Zito kwa mimi. They have to come to me. Akasema njoni. And he said come to me. Bwana Yesu akipenda. Ya kwamba njoni kwangu. Come to me. Mtu anaweza kuumia. You can in pain. You can get problems. You can be very heartbroken. You can even to stay at your own place alone. And keep thinking a lot of stuff. When the soul is getting pain. When you have pain for your soul. What is ready that for your soul? Is devil. And that's what Jesus said. No. When you're in pain, come to me. Praise the Lord. Come to me. All who are very important. And I will give you rest. Jesus said that he knew who is making your soul or your heart to get pain is devil. So do you see what the doing? I told you. Those people, they don't like you. They are just taking bags behind you. I don't know what are you thinking. So they will stay on course your soul and try to push more. And Jesus is calling, hello. Come to me. Praise Lord. Come to Jesus. We all came to Jesus. You can say like, we all Christian. Why can't they say come to me in Jesus? Maybe that's something. Jesus can call you. When you see it sinful, you can repent your sin and receive Jesus as your Savior. Just as you did that Jesus as your Savior receive him. After that, there's something that Jesus is watching after you. Jesus is watching you to give you your soul. So he can be he, he can be your savior. You can be a Christian by your own heart and keep it by yourself. It is you still but we still keep your own soul. So anything come tired you, you just keep it trying to solve the problems of a lot. So what's trying to solve your own problems alone? You never get any solution. And that's why you bring a lot of problems back. That person was good person. But after they got, uh, got the problems, it's just keeping go behind and do wrong things. So what the problem, my friends? Why? What's wrong? So my heart is has so wrong. Let's go to church. I can't go to church. Because his heart is so painful. The heart of the soul is very sorrow. And Jesus said, come to me. Because how to get to me for all of you who is worried and frightened, I will give you rest. That's the first point. Christian as like us. Let's give Jesus our hope. They give Jesus our life. They give Jesus our problems. And we all get worse. I'm telling you, try that. When your sorrow is in pain, that day you think like, man, I wish I wasn't born. I wish I wasn't born this hard. What can I do? I'm a Christian. I can't kill myself. So once you go close to Jesus, accept Him, 
Go to God. Walk close to Jesus. Jesus, see how much pain I have. See how I am. He will give you a good song. He will give you some good things. Go to God. You will see this Jesus is saying good. You will feel joy in your heart. If the song you are singing, you will feel like that shadow oh, is coming out of your heart and joy is coming into your soul. Praise the Lord. Because you went to Jesus. You will see the change in your life because you went close to God. He said, Come to me. Come to me. Come to me, who are burdened, and I will rest you. Hallelujah. The second point of today, we talk only three words today. So those two remind me to later. It's only the same place. What he said, take up my yoke, learn from me. It's 29. Take my, take my yoke up with me and learn from me. I am gentle and humble in heart, and you find rest for your soul. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. The second point take up my yoke. Take Jesus' yoke. You can ask yourself what is yoke? Yoke means utawala utawala ama uongozi ata leadership okay utawala ama uongozi ata leadership yani uongozi yani kama Yesu alisema jitieni nira yangu so jesus said take my yoke alisema ya kwamba yani utawala wake ama uongozi wake because he said his leadership kuwe juu ya maisha yetu has to be upon our life si tu ama uongozi wake not only be our our savior is a savior and he's our lord and he's a teacher he's your he's a savior he saved us he's our lord the boss of our life just like a woman in the own house the head of the house is a father she can do anything if the father is not around or if the father doesn't know so those women who are obedient, the obedient if they are in their husband's house if someone come out of the house your husband says Give me that passport. Oh, do something, something. So the obedience woman. My husband. Oh, say my husband is not around. So wait when he comes back. I will tell him. So what is going to respond to me? I will tell you why. Or himself will tell you. He knows the boss of the house is the husband. Praise Lord. And this house also will have a boss. Your house, your body, your body is, is your house. That's where your soul is hiding inside. So the Bible says, you don't know you. Your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. So the temple of God is your body. The temple of God is my body. So the boss who has to watch over everything is Jesus. That's why we say, Savior and Lord. So has to be the boss of everything. In everything that can come in your life. Tell devil, wait, let me tell Jesus. Just hold on, let me tell Jesus. Father, look this, look this. Jesus himself, he will give you the better answer because he's a boss. If you accept him as your boss, praise the Lord. If you accept him as your boss, you can be a Christian, but Jesus is not your boss. A lot of Christians, Jesus is not our Lord. They call Lord, Lord. That's why he says, no, I know, come, Lord, Lord. Maybe we may say, Lord, but it's 
not the Lord. The Lord is not take over the house. The Lord don't take over the house. The house is for the Lord. For the Lord. Praise the Lord. The second point. Let's learn from Him. A woman in their house. That's why you find a lot of people talk about women. It's like a lot of women that always copy the husband's uh, behavior. So what that woman would all say after? They also like our child. Our child has copied all the husband behavior. All the whole what behavior that our son has take of like that the husband behavior. Usually go a little bit into woman minds. Can go a little bit to their children, but mostly go into husband to wife, wife to husband. If the husband is good, the mother will be a good wife. If the, the, if the, 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 the father has sorrow, or else the woman will have sorrow. If the husband talks too much, the woman also take a loss. No, don't touch our bike here. So that woman is just looking like the husband's behavior. I think our brother has changed. So which means his husband's behavior because he accepted the wife. This will be my wife or this will be my husband. And as Christian, if you accept Jesus, so 100% we will learn from Jesus. You as Christian learn from Jesus. Don't learn from TV. Don't learn from your phone. Learn from Jesus. When you are watching TV, what Jesus is saying. Jesus doesn't know what you're watching. Leave it. Even your smartphone. No, Jesus doesn't like what I'm watching because you caught what Jesus does. Jesus taught us here, take my yoke upon you, learn from me. Even though as Christian we can learn from Jesus, we'll be a good Christian. But we're not learning from Jesus. The first thing is not Lord. We say Lord, Lord, but it's not what we're calling. Because not taking over our lives. Now we say we're going to heaven. And if we're going to heaven, by the grace of God, not a lot. If Jesus is not our Lord, it's not easy for you to get the, head, the kingdom of heaven. Because what Jesus like, you won't get it. What Jesus is refusing, you refuse to. Why devil say? The devil say. So a lot of the same Lord, Lord, Lord. And not that just preaching and do miracles of Jesus. But there are my people. Did you hear that? That is therefore all saying that. They just say Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. They preach Jesus, Jesus. But they're not Jesus people. They are my people. These are people put Jesus in front. They're just speaking Jesus in the mouth. But Jesus is not their Lord. What Jesus wants from you? Jesus wants to be your Savior. And be your, your Lord and be your teacher. And he has to teach you from A, B, C, D. Uh, you are going fast. Just slow down, slow down. A, B, C. Okay. Yes, that's good. So we need to take one more. If you take in Jesus from A, following him from B, from him from uh, C, don't go on G. So you can hear how our children are all saying. I count one to ten. And then two are waiting for this. One, one, three, eight, ten. No, it's not like that. Start one, two, 
5 and 7 and 8. You skip one. So children from learning, they don't go straight the way they're supposed to go. But what Jesus says, Jesus is counting hands on our children and we're doing that. We're still on A. He's still on B. We're on D already. G, but no, that's not correct. Go slow down. A. So you were so angry. If you fought Jesus A from A, you find your heart or your soul calm. Your soul will beat fast. And you fought Jesus from A. And Jesus will leave you a little. Tomorrow we come back again. And we say again, say B. And we say B. After you say B, after, say B, after that day, and A, you were very angry. And after you say B, you ask yourself, what? Why tomorrow? I answer that guy but a walk. Why did I do that? May God forgive me. Tomorrow that will oh, be your friend. You start greeting them. How are you? So I'll be like, I'm I'm cool. Why? You follow Jesus from A. After you before you skip on D. He said no. Take A first. Today is A only. Tomorrow be B. Praise the Lord. He's a teacher. If we can follow our order, there's no way we can live M. There's no way we can get lost. Because we're following him. Learn from me. He didn't say learn from the pastor. He didn't say learn from our official. Um, I learned from Peter for you. Learn from Peter. He said, "Learn from me, because I'm gentle and humble." Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Learn from Jesus. So you know, therefore. So here we go. We are undertaking Jesus' yoke. But they would like to ask him all the time. And like to ask so many things. So like maybe ask the freedom that we have. The freedom that we are getting from our Jesus. So it's the it's a freedom that is going to pass. But in Jesus, Jesus, I mean, devils tell us a lot of stuff. Devils sometimes say his yoke is, is easy, but his leading is easy. So he's taking over his, his so good and to make us lost. Jesus is out. His leadership is bad. If you should know Jesus' leadership, how he is, and to identify also the devil's leadership, Jesus will be your, your teacher. That your friend is not supposed to be your teacher. Because a lot of people get messed up because of my Jesus said, don't follow your friend. If your friend has a good walk in Jesus, God. If your friend is not in God, because it's going to bring God to Because the word of God is Jesus. You learn to Jesus. It's better to learn from Jesus. Praise the Lord. But Bible said, his yoke is easy. His Lord is easy. How come therefore Lord is easy? His life to you. Therefore Lord is heavy. So it's just keeping hurting your feelings and just
just keep heartful and take you into the end if you even die. They overtook that Georgia Iscariot to the end. Do you think that's a friend? Until a devil has good things, they will take you to the end, end, which is death. And us in hell, you will be. But our teacher, our Lord Jesus, his yoke is easy. The Lord of Christians, they are really the Lord of Christians are suffering because they are trying to take their own yoke. They are trying to lead themselves. Instead of them be leading with Holy Spirit, instead of Jesus to lead them, they are leading themselves in their own lives. And this is the biggest problem in our lives. Instead of Jesus or God to lead us, we are trying to lead ourselves. Watch out one day. God said, How is going to be? That answer questions when we were back in Africa. So if someone is in the war, that those are uh, those military who go to war, if the fighting comes very strong, how they do? They see there is a big war, and things are getting worse. And other people trying to go back. What they do exactly? So those are uh, those shapes military chair. So they ask, is those military, they don't ask help from those who are beh behind them? So it, they never think, now we can do anything. Why cannot help get help? Yes, they always ask help. So, so and, the question was, so you guys in the world as Christians, but you don't ask my help. So do you think this fight is easy? And that's how we are. You find someone's just very hurtful, instead of them going to Jesus, and go, they all should go to a friend. See how my friend, uh, this people did for me. My husband, my husband did this. My wife did this. They all still are telling the friends. That's why they get a solution. There's no solution to your friend. What is going to happen after? Your own friend is going to tell your own friend. Did you hear what he told me to his own wife? He says the house is fired. They are running together. So you you told to tell your friends, but you told them that information to friends to others' friends. Like or not, that is your friend. But Jesus said, come to him. Let him have our story so he can take over our life. He won't say anything. Even on sin, Jesus never tell nobody under this earth. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So this is a good friend. Your own sin. He never tell nobody. That this person is like this. No. Your own friends, flesh friends. All your secret has finished out there. You are still here. She has still everybody. Jesus said, Come to him. Him. He's going to put our yoke easy. Praise the Lord. It's better Jesus take over our lives. It's good Jesus to get a place in our life. Be a leader in our life. So if Jesus is the Lord of our lives, our yoke of our soul will be easy. The yoke of your soul will be easy. So we are going to the last part where he say, learn from me. Learn from me. Or let's learn from him. When Jesus is Lord for our life, we are the, we are the our students. And the student 
is a person who doesn't is a person who doesn't look after someone Mwanimu. a teacher manafuzi, he always wants the students to look straight kama to him kama wana, kama yeye ana, ana, ana so if the teacher is trying to explain on the blackboard manafuzi, they always want the students to look on the blackboard kama, kama a, a, a if he's not explaining through the blackboard he's just speaking he always wants the students to look that's why a lot of preachers and others they always want to preach and watch them because some preachers are please look at me so you don't know him yes that is the teacher work. They always want the students to look at them. If they say, point it on the blackboard. So a student has to look at it. So if you stop pointing, you just need to look your teacher. That's how you get stuff in your mind. And Jesus, Jesus wants us to look at him. Jesus wants us to look at him. Don't look left or right. Because if you look outside you, there's some stuff going to distract and lie to you. And there's other different teachers that will lie to you. But Jesus said, look at me. If you look at him, he will give you a good word. Praise the Lord. He will give you good words. But if you look your friends, he will give you a bad word. He will last. That's why three times he's doing no, that. And you're just up. No, no, That's, that is not even good. You are... So did you hear your friend's words? You start uh, learning like you're foolish. So you're the first one to get married. You're the first one to be like that. So that foolishness stay inside of you. That's a bad teacher. But Jesus he wants to tell you that. What Jesus will bring out? Forgiveness. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's all Jesus say. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus, he won't say you are foolish. Leave that person. Oh, just do this because he did that. Jesus will say good words from to you. He's going to calm your soul. And learning to G from Jesus. Jesus will help us. A student always listen and learning and those are things as a student do a student they always watch or look they have to listen they usually learn from a teacher has Christian Jesus said he's our teacher yes us as also we need to give our own life so we can be a teacher be our Lord so what are we going to learn from him don't forget we are in a soul that is so the, the sorrow soul so we are in the third point that say learn from Jesus a student they also learn from their teacher that's why you find a lot of students or teachers they copy their own um, I had, I had one of the teachers, uh, uh, those uh, pedagogic teachers. That was like um, sixth grade or seventh grade. So he always opened his button, the, the first one, and the second one, and the third. And all leave only the one. So he was open that three buttons on his shirt. That was a symbol on him. So he was just coming walking like a boss. And 
living his own chest open and start just teaching. A lot of students are like, did you see our, our teacher? Our teacher. So after a few months, and others saw they start copying what teacher was doing. And the teacher comes, they all come the same way. The other they are just keeping the word. Why you want to So all those teachers go to school then, they copy from the teacher. But that wasn't good teaching. Because it's not allowed that for a man to leave the church open. But uh, then the teacher was afterwards leaving the chest open and the student also they did the same. They learn from the teacher. So if you have a bad teacher, you learn bad behavior from him. If you have a good teacher, you learn a good behavior from him. And that's why Jesus learned teach all those others. Come, from, come to me. Learn from me. I'm gentle and humble in heart. Praise the Lord. Who, who is like Jesus? Who is like Jesus who is humble and gentle? Let's see uh, one of the ways we learn from Jesus. A. Jesus was perished. That's why he said, learn from me. In Jesus' sacrifice, is something is way behind our minds. A lot of people was was killed because of the word of God. But the painful of Jesus was way way behind everybody. You can read the book of Matthew. Matthew Sarasina Sita. The book of Matthew oh, twenty. Shirini Nasita. Book of Matthew twenty-six. Sarasina Sala. To siki Mambi Alo Pitika Pale Gesteman. Matthew twenty-six verse thirty-seven to thirty-eight. So make a ticket is. I come could to quite petro and a wali one of a wili wa the day. I can't ku uzunika na kusamaneka. Amen. Matthew chapter 26, verse 28, uh, 27, 28, I mean. Then he said to them, My soul is overwhelmed with sorrow to the point of death. Stay here and keep watch with me. Going a little further, he, he fell with his face to the ground and prayed, My father, if it is possible, May this call be taken from me, yet not as I will, but as you will. Amen. Let's read slowly. He took Peter and the two sons of Zebedee and, and start sorrow, sorrowful and tremblate. Then he said, My soul is overwhelmed with sorrow to the point of death. Stay here. Keep watch with me. Praise Lord. Jesus told them, My soul is very sorrowful to the point of death. So in the language of Greek, what they say, here I say my soul, he's very sinful, sorrowful to the point of death. In the Greek, they say sushi. So sorrow is like soul is like sushi. In the Greek language, sushi. Sushi. 
that he translated it as Saul. Instead of them saying your soul, they said my soul. Jesus wanted to say my soul. His sorrow to the point of death. Praise Lord. This Jesus really was suffering. When Jesus was there at Gethsemane in the mountain, he tried to pray and pray so Jesus can remove that cup from him because he saw its house going to be perished. If can, he will, it will, will, will please you, this cup may pass me. No, it won't be on my will. Jesus was very thankful in his heart. So his soul went to the end. After he he came out from to tell Peter and John the Bible says he just uh, went like few, few steps and when he went to pray he was praying and crying the Bible says his tears was mildly instead of being tears instead of uh, tears to be water Jesus was blood tear coming through his eyes. My heart is very sore to the point of death. Praise Lord. The sorrow of Jesus was the end until the blood came through the eyes. So what type of person who cried blood? Jesus Christ blood. The tear of blood came in, in Jesus' eye because of that too much sacrificing. After he came from praying, he told them, why you wouldn't stay with me even for one minute? That was very sorrowful. So once I think about that, I also feel painful in my heart. He found them they're sleeping. He saw them wake up and pray at least one hour. So after he left them and got to pray, a little time, he woke them up again. And Jude came with uh, those military and cap captured Jesus. The Bible says they started beating him. They started beating him. They slapped him. They pulled off his beard. They laugh on him. They spit on him. So they took him and put in front of big crowd, crowd so they can just embarrass him. So what type of embarrassment Jesus was in? Maybe I have no people that can see him. So bring him here so they can see him. Put him in front here. And they're just keeping embarrassing him. If we said they shamed him, so what that's supposed to mean? So which means they left him naked. So, so which wasn't good to leave someone adults naked in front of people. Jesus saw all those things and his heart was very sorrow. May God forgive us. That's why Jesus is very painful when he was sinning. When he started to leave sin and was not listening. Jesus is very in sorrow. He, he always watched back when he was here. He always cried even the heaven. My soul is sorrow. That's what Isaiah said what? Isaiah said if Jesus perished, that's why we say praise God. Let's read here. Isaiah 53. Isaiah 53. Uh, verse 5 Isaiah 53 verse 5 Isaiah chapter 53 verse 5 but he was he was perished 
for our transgressions. He was crushed for our inequality. The punishment that brought us peace was upon him, and by his wounds we are healed. Amen. Amen. Let me also read. But he was perished for our transgression. He was crushed for our inequality. The punishment that brought us peace was upon him, and his wounds we are healed. Praise Lord. What can we give him? What can we give him for his perish? In the place that you're supposed to be perished, but he was perished. The place that you're supposed to die, he died. So your soul, when your your, your body was in perishment and his soul was also in perish, you will save your own body and save your own soul. In his punishment, we were saved. Yes, was Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is something also puts him to be into pain. Be refused with his own father. So they even uh, perished him. Maybe, maybe that would be better just a little okay. But God denied him. Ile wakati wa sadisa yeye akapata sauti Eloi Eloi lama sadisa Bibi and when he was calling his father Eloi Eloi Mzee anageuza uso His father turns back up to him tena. His father didn't look at him And he was Eloi. just serving the Lord of sins and his father Eloi. didn't look at him Eloi. He was so hurt and that pain wasn't only for Jesus. Even his own father also was in sorrow because of you and because of I. On his perishment, we were healed. If you can be able to check this word where Jesus was perished so I can be healed, we were not supposed to sin. We are learning from Jesus. That is Jesus' sacrifice. Jesus was perished and he was just killed. Still put Jesus in hope. And things that came to him give him help together with his operation. When he was uh, on the cross, and those things also the beating him, and even like beating him for God. So, what Jesus said. Father, forgive them because they don't know what they're doing. So that was the words reduced Jesus anger. Father, forgive them. So that is a B. Jesus said that from him. So that Jesus' punishment, you are you ever get that? If you can get how Jesus was perished, have you ever been that difficult time? So why are you leaving Jesus? Why are you taking step back? Why are you thinking your cross is heavy? I can come to church. What did you do? Because of drinking, that is nothing. That is a little thing to Jesus. Jesus was perished more. Jesus, they gave Jesus, they gave they give him water because he was thirsty. So, so let's try to have him because he suffered a lot. When you're in temptation, Lord Jesus was perished more than you. Jesus was punished more than you. If you can learn from Jesus' perishment, 
we will overcome all temptations. We know this is temptation. If we can learn from like what Jesus said, Jesus God forgive. Father, forgive them because they don't know what they're doing. So the words forgiveness is big one in our lives. Forgive. A lot of people they don't know how to forgive. They say I forgive, I forget. But they still thinking the same thing in their hearts. What that person did to me, I will never forget it. That is not forgiveness. If you are led to them, you forgive them. But God is not yet forgiving. If you are not forgiving, God he won't forgive you. Forgiveness. Usually you reduce the Lord in that is in your heart. You can be in too much pain or anger. Or your children they can do something wrong that you don't want. If you forgive them with one heart, your your soul I mean, will be in in jail. So that Lord was in your heart. You you feel you're free. You'll be, you'll be reduced. You'll feel that Lord is reduced. As Christians, we have to forgive. Without forgiving, there's no way we get the kingdom of heaven. True forgiveness. Forgiving is to erase. I know you can be remembered, but if you are erased everything, you remove everything, you won't put Lord in your life because you erased everything. What that person did to me last time, God forgives you, and that's how I forgive you, and God forgive me. You erased. After you erased, you feel your heart is in pain. So the painful of soul, there will be in pain. So that is our soul. That is our soul. So that's what the soul wants to have. So that is your remedy of your soul. Remember that God perish was more than yours. Remember what God forgive you on Monday. And you also need to forgive others. Whoever you run to you, say I forgive you. You'll be having joyful in your soul. And you say, come, he said, come all of you who has big loads. And I will rest you. And God bless you. Come play to pray together. Maybe you have a lot of people in your life. Maybe in your life your something is bothering you. Can be seen or not seen. But Jesus said, Come, I'm calling you. Come so we can pray together. So God can help us. Come pray together. So that we all can be reduced. It's just like when someone's doing something and start here on the chest when they're drinking water and they'll feel so if you pray to God and go close to God, you will see strength, joyful in your heart. Welcome, let's pray. God help you. I believe you have remedy in your own heart. From your childhood and marriage to now, what a promise you have. Come to me, Jesus said. Jesus said, come to me, bring your yoke to me. So this is our Lord So what are you? Where are you? Let's pray here. Don't think like you are, you are so joyful in your heart or you have peace. Stand up where you are. 